Good day, everybody. This is uh, Chris with the Ancient Scholar, and this is going to be a supplemental video to OEM 151. Uh, this will be the spring semester of 2017, Advanced Emergency Medical Technician Clinical Experience. Uh, this will be a video detailing how you need to set up your clinical portfolio. So you're going to need to have a three-ring binder, uh, a one, maybe one and a half inch three-ring binder, maybe a little bigger if you have uh, more experience, a little smaller if you have less, and uh, this is how you want to set it up. So, the very first, the very front page is going to be your clinical log sheet, and you're going to log every one of your clinical experiences in here. So, for example, you've got the date. Um, this here is a one one of 2017 at Memorial Medical Center. It's a 12 hour shift, and it went from 0, 0700 to 1900 and then you need to have your preceptor sign that. So this is ultimately how I'll be tracking all of your hours. And remember, you have a minimum of 60 hours of field time. So that will be either with a American Medical Response or uh, with Las Cruces Fire Department uh, Response or with uh, another one of, uh, another approved uh, preceptor at an approved clinical site. Um, I believe, uh, let's see here, uh, Sierra uh, EMS and Truth or Consequences, Lincoln County EMS in Rio Doso, uh, Gila Regional uh, EMS, and I believe Gila, uh, or Silver Fire as well up in Silver City. Uh, and let's see here, uh, Alamogordo, AMR, and Alamogordo as well are all uh, currently available. Um, field options, and then you need to have a minimum of 18 hours within the um, hospital environment, Memorial Medical Center. Uh, most of that will be in the emergency room, but it certainly isn't limited. Uh, just remember those are your minimum hours because you also have uh, certain skills and patient contact requirements that need to be met. If you don't meet those requirements, you'll have to continue to uh, gain experience or do uh, have feel and clinical experiences until you can meet those those benchmarks as well but this will be the very first page of your clinical portfolio this log sheet right so we can keep track of all of your hours and the sites that you've been rotating to the second one is the skill checkoff sheet okay so these are um, some of your skills that you have um, so you have a certain number of IVs uh, 10 IVs you have uh, up to five blood draws, um, five uh, medication pushes, two neb nebulizer, nebulized medication treatments, uh, five verbal reports. This tends to be a radio report. And then five verbal transfer of care. This can either be if you're rotating with Las Cruces Fire and you transfer care over to a primary transporting agency like AMR. Um, or um, you do a bedside report in the emergency room when you transfer care of your patient over to uh, a qualified staff member um, at the hospital, whatever hospital you may be going into. Uh, so this will be the second sheet here, the skill checkoff sheet. And then just like lab, every day that you rotate, um, should have its own cover page. Okay, so this is your shift cover page. You'll put your name, the date of that shift, and then you will circle the clinical location. You will either be in the hospital or you'll be working on a fire engine or a primary transport agency. Remember, Las Cruces Fire is not a primary transport in agency, even though they are a primary response agency. Okay, so if you are rotating with Las Cruces Fire, you will circle this because you're not actually transporting the patient, even though you are responding, you're treating, and then you're tr transferring care over to a primary transport service. If you are with a service that does primary transport, then you will circle that there. So this just happens to be in the hospital. And then underneath, just like uh, kind of in your lab, underneath the uh, shift uh, cover page, you will have this here. This is your shift evaluation. You will put your name up here. The level is intermediate. Uh, where you're at, this happens to be MMCER, the date, the time. Okay, the preceptor will check, yes, um, you came in prepared. You had your obje objectives ready to go. You know, you're good to go. And then what will happen is the student, that's you, will rate yourself 
or how you did in these areas of performance. And then your preceptor will give you a rating as well. The patients that you had contact with will be here. And this is just some really basic information on the patients. Okay. And then um, the preceptor will check, agree or disagree that you actually had this experience here. And then um, your preceptor will write any strengths, any areas they'd like to see improved in a plan. And then the preceptor will sign it and date it. All right. And then your chart needs to be attached. Um, every chart that you have, every patient contact needs to be charted. This is the clinical patient care report. Okay, clinical in, in your uh, clinical uh, rotations means hospital, and then field, uh, of course, would mean a transporting agency or a primary response agency. Okay, so out in the field, clinical means in the hospital. All right, so you see abdominal pain, gender, age, weight, kilograms, how they came into the hospital, they come in by POV, right? Um, a lot of our hospital patients didn't arrive by ambulance, so write how they came in. What's their MOI or NOI, okay? History, HPI, any vital signs, and then your D chart, okay? So your assessment history here, all right? And I do wanna see differential diagnoses, at least three, because I wanna see what you're thinking. What do you think's going on with this patient? Um, it's a very important thought process. And you can attach additional run report documentation here. In addition to this, uh, you can type your reports um, if you would rather do that. And I have provided you templates for how you would type up a D chart report or a SOAP report if you wanted to do that as well. And then this is another shift, and you see how I have a tab here, just like your, um, just like your labs. Uh, the first, uh, first clinical experience has a tab then the second third fourth fifth sixth seventh etc okay so a student here this is so this is primary transport so we go so this is a amr medic one okay and you see it filled out just like that and the big difference here is if you want to handwrite a report you will need to download this sheet here this is your um, patient care report for the field this is not hospital though all right, and then you just go through it, all right, fill it out, and you can also do your, your D chart by attaching student additional um, run report documentation. Likewise, you can also type these uh, run reports out, and you've been given templates, and we've covered that in a class how to do that. So hopefully that makes sense. And then at the end of your clinical experience, this book gets turned into me, and I'll also be meeting with you periodically throughout the semester to review uh, your evals and to talk to talk to you talk with you about how clinical the clinical experience is going okay uh, i'll post this on canvas and you'll have it available to uh, reference as you begin um, begin rotating into the clinical environment all right as always thanks for hanging in there